In this video clip I'm going to put up, um, just describe the Greeks uh, for option theory. So a good place for us to start would be uh, Greek options Wikipedia. And if we go in there we can see, and again this is Greeks uh, generated using the Black Scholes model. And on the Wikipedia site uh, there's a fairly replete set of uh, option Greeks. Uh, we won't look at them all but the more vanilla first order Greeks are ones that crop up a lot in CFA, FRM and more introductory type treatments of um, option theory and parameter sensitivity of options. So uh, there are some form definitions and further down um, importantly some formulas. So we, we would have looked at uh, estimating the value of calls, estimating the value of puts using the Black Scholes model and then there are a variety of different uh, option values here and for our purposes delta, vega, theta, rho and gamma uh, are the Black Scholes option Greeks that uh, we'll address here. So uh, what's the motivation for looking at Greeks? Well we could go back to uh, my um, YouTube site and just look at the playlists for a moment and then go into, um, we'll just take um, the Black Shoals, is that the one? Uh, yes, let's try this one. Um, the Black Shoals model, and let's just uh, bring that full screen and let's take the quality up to 720. Okay, and so what in, in this particular video clip? What I had set out was working out the value of an option, in this case a call option, using the Black Scholes model. Okay, and if we want to exit uh, the screen or just go to the link for that file, we can come here. And uh, the, we can download the file. So if we right click and download. Okay, uh, the file comes down and then just open it up. Okay, and the second, is it the second, maybe it's the third tab. Uh, that uh, estimation is done with the video uh, YouTube link here as well. So what I've done here is I've worked out the value of an option. And I've looked at, so if you like, uh, using the Black Scholes formula, estimating D1 and D2, working out the normal cumulative probability for N, for D1 and D2, I've estimated the value of the option. And a, a question then we would like to ask, once the a particular option value is, is estimated, we would then like to know, well what is the effect, what if I change what if I change that to 120? Right, so if I change the, the call, the, the stock price or the asset value to 120, what's the effect down here? And the option value goes up. What if we reduce the stock price? What happens to the value of the uh, call? The call price goes down. Uh, what if I, okay, let's revert back to the original. What if I increase the volatility? Right, so we increase the volatility from 20% to 30%. Okay, it's fairly clear that the value of the option increased. If I reduce it to 10, the value of the option falls. If I go back to 0 0.2, we revert back to 1045. So as we increase volatility, it would appear that the value of the option increases. As we reduce the volatility, 
the validity option would seem to fall. Likewise with time, if we increase the time period, the option price seems to go up. If I reduce the time period, so the maturity in the contract, let's say, to six months, the value of the option goes down. Okay, so uh, knowing the sensitivity of the option for a change in any of these, so exercise don't tend to change, but the other variables, stock price changes, volatility changes, time period changes, uh, will have an effect on the value of the call. And what the Greeks do is provide us with parameter sensitivities or provide us with measures of how sensitive the option value the option value is to changes in the parameters. And again, these are our, our parameters. Okay, so if we go back to the Greeks, maybe just look at the definition of of what the option uh, Greeks are are quantities represent representing the sensitivity of the price of derivatives such as options to change in underlying parameters on which the value of an instrument or portfolio financial instruments is dependent. The name is used because most common of these sensitivities are denoted by Greek letters as are some other finance measures. Collectively these have also been called risk sensitivities, risk measures, hedge parameters. Uh, a very common technique for, op for hedging options is delta hedging where when for instance uh, you take a position in an option position so if you sold 100,000 call options right, uh, a trader to hedge that position might go back into the market and buy the underlying and the amount of the underlying that the trader buys uh, can be uh, guided by the delta of the option and the delta of the option is uh, the change uh, in the value of the option so the change in the here v denotes uh, the value of the call change in the value of the call with respect to a change in the value of the underlying asset Okay, so delta hedging is a again a technique developed mainly from the 1980s onwards, uh, where traders uh, hedged portfolios of options by taking positions in the underlying. But the amount of the underlying, or the amount of the assets uh, that uh, traders used to hedge the position in the option, would have been determined by delta. And again, you can see uh, the Greeks are not just uh, uh, sensitivity measures in the sense that they come up in terms of reports, but they're also measures that are used f actively for hedging. And that's why they tend to be important f in terms of um, understanding uh, the trading of options and just practical market uh, implementations of trading strategies. Okay, so if we go back to our spreadsheet again, and I'll just copy these values. In fact, if I copy that whole spreadsheet, worksheet, file, new, and we can put a name on this later, and just home, paste. Okay, what we observe here, if we just take it down a notch, okay, is I've worked out the value of the call using Black Scholes call and then I generated an intrinsic value for the option where I said the value of the call, the intrinsic va value of the call is uh, maximum s minus x, x being the exercise or zero. So it can never be by taking the maximum of these two can never be a negative value. And then I set out a data table, so uh, if you like to build a data table from beginning here. Right, let's remove this for a second, just to see how we would construct a data table. What if I wanted to observe the effect of changing this value here? And 
take the value from 10 all the way to 200 by changing by changing the uh, asset price by changing s okay how would i generate that it would be equal to let's take this uh, value here so the estimation estimated value for the call is 1045 using that formula i want to reuse that formula but generate the value of the option the value of the black shoals uh, call using not just 100 but all the other values here organized in this column okay so setting it out in a data table we could say uh, data what if analysis data table okay is it a column or a row this is a column and what in the original uh, formula which cell in the original formula do I want to change each successive time so I want to change s so I go up to s and I hit ok and you can see it fills in now uh, let's generate this is this graph here is from the previous worksheet okay so let's just delete that out and generate it from scratch if I want to map that if I want to graph it go to insert graph I want to take the intrinsic value and the um, the time value of the option so I let's make it a little bit bigger since we have the space okay and let's insert like select data and I want to add what do I want to, I want to add uh, intrinsic value so that's just the maximum of s minus x and what's on the horizontal axis it's the s different stock prices what's on the y-axis it's the intrinsic value okay and then I want to and hit OK and to get rid of the kink we can format the line just go to line style and on smooth so it's a more accurate representation of the intrinsic value and then to add in the black shoals uh, parabola we select data again and so add black shoals parabola and the x series it's the same as before different column but same set of numbers and then the value of the black shoals and we get the familiar black shoals parabola now it's clear uh, just in terms of parameter sensitivities it's clear that as we increase the stock price or the value of the underlying the the this column here represents the set of asset prices as we increase s the value of the option goes up okay it's also clear if we increase the value of volatility the value of the parabola lifts if we reduce the volatility if we go back to 0 0.2 the value of the parabola this the parabola shrinks in if we put this to a very small value it gets increasingly close to the intrinsic value Okay, so we revert back to let's go back to our 0 0.2 if we increase time typically the value of the options go up but not always so for instance if we had 0 0.4 something 0 0.3 what typically you find happening is that as you increase if you go back to 1 if we increase the value of the um, maturity let's say by three years three years that close to the exercise the option black shows parabola goes up but further deep in the money the option price goes down 
So it's slightly indeterminate. Okay, we'll look at this a little bit further in the next video.